in this tutorial we're going to model a simple spoon in cheetah i have some um simpler tutorials coming up going over all the tools and what they do but this is just a simple modeling tutorial for somebody wanted something so i'm going to model a simple spoon i'm going to go in here and set my width and stuff to my um, box here double click it to make it editable and now as you can see we go right into polygon mode what i'm going to do here is select an end you pick the end you want to choose to work from okay i'm going to i'm just going to work from this end down here I'm going to select this side, this side, and I'm going to scale them out like this, just a little bit, like that. Okay, now I need to rotate this end. So instead of selecting it all and just rotating it, I'm going to go to Selection, Area Select, and I'm going to select these, this area, the, all this area here, and I'm going to use a command that, that we have in Cheetah called edge rotate. So I'm going to select right click and select edge rotate. I'm going to go in here and select this little edge underneath and spin it down and looky there. We have an edge rotate. Okay so now that we've got that basic shape laid out let's, let's move on forward a little bit and work on the center of the model. So I'm going to go back to my area select. I'm going to select this middle area here If I can get it to cooperate with me. I'm holding the shift key and dragging around. Okay, now that I've got this, I'm going to scale this in. Like so. Make it a little skinnier. Like that. Now, let's see if I can select the front here. Like so. And I'm also going to scale this in. Like that. Let's dolly around here and look and see what we've got. I'm going to, once again, select my sides and scale them out to give it that spoony look. I'm going to select my front polygons here and pull them forward. Like so. Now we're getting our basic shape, as you can see. So I'm going to select these top four polygons and the same bottom four. And I'm going to move them down a little bit, as you can see, like that. Okay, I'm not liking how this is working, so I'm going to have to go to edge mode and select these edges here. because I'm going to have to do some adjusting on them. So let me select these by rotating around under. Holding my shift key and selecting them. Now they're all selected. I'm going to pull them forward. Like that. Okay, now that we're, we're still in our edge mode, so I'm going to select these edges around the spoon. this I'm not using my pen so you'll have to excuse me just dolly around for the um, cumbersome look of the how I'm using here that looks pretty good let's scale the sides in and scale it in like this and let's bring it down okay now we got our basic shape of our spoon. Let's go to a modifier, subdivision, and let's drag that on top of our box. And look at there. We have us a spoon. You know, you can add a skylight and render it. And we have a spoon. And that is basically how you model a spoon in Cheetah. Um, I'm sorry I went really fast through this. I haven't actually went through and said, okay, now I'm going to transform and now I'm going to go up here and do this. This was just a brief walkthrough of a spoon model for people who's pretty much oriented with 3D apps. Now, if you would like me to do the same tutorial 
only much slower and actually walk you through each individual transform and, and switch of the tool I will more than happy to do that and I will upload it as the exact same title I'll just put revised at the end or I'll put for beginners okay so stay tuned I have many beginners videos coming to go through all these tools and all the keyboard shortcuts and how I have mine set up and I have plenty more modeling tutorials coming too this was just a quick spoon my model of spoon tutorial is very simple and just gives you an idea of how cheetah works thanks for watching guys